Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a library that will help us work with Pandas as if we were using Microsoft Excel. In previous videos we will learn how to move from Excel to Python using Pandas. We will learn how to create pivot tables, join tables, filter data and more using Pandas. But now I will show you an easier approach to do all of this with a Python library called MitoSheet. So let's get started. So we'll continue with this tutorial in a second. I want to thank Medium for sponsoring this video. Medium is a platform where you can find thousands of Python tutorials, data science guides and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. Alright, the first thing we have to do is to install the MitoSheet library. To do so, you have to run this code that I just pasted. And if you're using a notebook, you have to add the exclamation mark. So you only add this exclamation mark to this code that, by the way, I'm going to leave in the description and you only run this. I'm not going to run this because I already have MitoSheet installed and you have to make sure that you have Python 3.6 or above and also that you have JupyterLab. In case you don't have any of them, you can watch any of my other videos to install it with Anaconda. Okay, after the installation is done, we have to import MitoSheet. So we write import MitoSheet. And then we initiate it by typing MitoSheet.sheet with parentheses. So with this, we're gonna create a MitoSheet. So let's run this and as you can see this is the sheet that we created so this is kind of a data frame and in case the sheet doesn't render when you call Mido sheet, you only have to relaunch Jupyter Lab. okay now let's import a csv file so to do that we only have to press the plus button that is here on the left we press here and then we only have to select the file that we want to import so in this case we're going to use a file that I'm going to leave in the description and it's named studentperformance.csv, so this one. So now I double click on it and we got the data here. So this is our MITA sheet and this is the data inside the CSV file. So this is like a data frame that we obtain after reading a CSV file with pandas. So this is a data frame that we will obtain using pandas, but now in MITA. If you watch some of my previous pandas tutorials, you probably know this data set. But in case you don't know this data set, well, this data set only contains marks obtained by students in different subjects. And we can see different columns like the gender, the test preparation course, the math score, reading score, and writing score. So these are some of the columns that we're gonna use in this tutorial. So let's start by adding a new column. To create a new column with Mido, we only have to select one column and then press on the button that says add call. So this one, you press here, then you go to the right and you will see that a new column was created. So this is my new column and I just created this with one click. So now let's rename this column. So we only have to double click on it and then we can rename this column. So I'm going to name it average. So I write average, then I press enter and we renamed this column. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we will see that Mido automatically generates the code that corresponds to the actions we made. So for example, here, Mido automatically created this line of code that imported this CSV file. So it generated this pandas code, so pd.readcsv, and then inserted a new column and then renamed this column as average as we did here with the Mito sheet. And this is great because we can work with this data set as if we were in Microsoft Excel and we can also get the pandas code. So that's everything we need. Okay, now let's see how we will sum the values in different columns. So let's say that we want to get the average score in these three columns. So we have math score, reading score, and writing score. And now we want to get the average score. So we will sum math, plus reading, plus writing, and divide all of this by three. So here with Mido, we only have to double click on this cell and then write the formula. So for example, if I want to calculate the average, we only have to uh, write here the formula. So I press equal to, and then I 
select this column. So we have here math score, then we press the plus key and then reading score and then plus again and then writing score. Now I add parentheses and now I divide it by three. So with this, I only have to press enter. And now as you can see, we got the average of these three columns. And again, if we scroll down, we will see the code that Mido generates. So here I'm gonna scroll down and this is the code that corresponds to that operation. So here we only have to sum the three columns and divide it by three with pandas. But with Mido, we can do it as if we were working with Microsoft Excel. Okay, now let's see how to filter data in this Mido sheet. So to filter data, we only have to press this funnel button that you can see here. So only press right here and you will get this window. And here you can filter data as you want. So let's say we want to filter that gender column and we want only to show the female gender. So what we have to do is to go to the filter section and click on this add filter. So we press here and then we press on add a filter. So here we have to select where and here we click on the drop down and here we select is exactly. So now we write female. So we're saying where this gender column is exactly female. And the result is that we only get the female value in this gender column. So now I can close here and we can see that all the data inside this gender column is female. So this is great. So now we can also filter based on one more condition. So let's say that we not only want the gender column to be female, but we also want the race ethnicity to be group B. So again, we press here and then click on this button and here we add a filter. So in this case, we have to select is exactly and then we write here group B. And that's it. You get here the group B in this race ethnicity column. And the final result is that we only get the data from female in the gender column and also from group B in the race ethnicity column. And now if you scroll down, you will see the code that Mido generates. And this is what you will do if you were using only pandas. All right, now let's see how to make a pivot table with Mido. So first I'm gonna get rid of these filters because we're not gonna use it in this example. So I'd get rid of these two filters. And with this, we can start making the pivot table. So to make a pivot table with Mido, we only have to press in this pivot button. And then we have to select the rows, columns and values as we will do in Microsoft Excel. So in this example, we'll create a pivot table that shows the mean of the math and reading score of all the groups inside the race ethnicity column. And to do that, we only have to add here in the rows the race ethnicity column. So we select this one and then in values, we have to select the math score and also the reading score. So math score and now reading score. And here we have to select the mean because we don't want to count, but to get the mean. So we select mean and with this, we got our pivot table in just a couple of seconds. And with Mido, we can also make some visualizations. So let's create a bar plot from this pivot table that we just made. So to do that, we only have to press on this graph button. And here we have to select the chart type. So in this case, I want a bar plot, but you can also create a box plot, a histogram or a scatter plot. Then you have to select the X axis. In this case, I'm going to select the race ethnicity in the X axis. And in the Y axis, I'm going to select the math score mean column. So now to select that in the Y axis, I'm going to zoom out so you can see this one. And here in the Y axis, I'm going to select the math score mean column. So here I got it and I'm going to zoom in again. So I close first the window and I zoom in and now you can see this graph much, much better. So now this is the bar plot that represents the math score mean of each group. Great. Finally, we can also join two tables with Mido. And to show you this, 
I'm going to import two data frames that have one column in common. So let's go ahead and copy this import MITRE sheet and paste it below. So we're going to import two new data frames to show you how to join two tables with MITRE. So here I run this code and now we're going to import these two CSV files. So I click here on the plus button and now I'm going to select this student performance, but this one has the ID column. That is the column in common between these two CSV files. And the second is the language score. So these are my two data sets and here I got it in my do. So here are the two data sets and now to join these two tables. First, we have to make sure we have a column in common. And in this case, the column in common is the ID column. And here we can see that in language score, we have the same ID column. So now that we have this column in common, we only have to press on the merge button to join these two tables. So I press on merge. And here we have to make sure that in the merge key option, we have the ID column selected. So here is the ID. So this goes for the first sheet that is the language score and also for the second sheet that is the student's performance file. So here also the merge key is the ID column. So now I close here and we can see that we have a new sheet. In this case, it was named DF3. And here we can see that this DF3 represents the join of these two tables. So we can see that here we have the columns of table number two, and this is the columns of table number one. So one belongs to the student's performance CSV file, and the other belongs to the language score CSV file. So we successfully joined these two tables. And if you're curious to know the code behind all of this, you can scroll down and see the code that Mido generated. And that's it. In this video, we learn how to replace some common methods in Pandas using the Mido sheet library. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.